Until Friday Night, the first young adult novel by best-selling romance author Abby Glines, follows silent Maggie Carlton and popular West Ashby as they process their trauma, find comfort in one another, and fall in love. The book, the first in the Field Party series, is followed by Under the Lights, After the Game, and Losing the Field. The series follows various characters in their struggles with violence, trauma, and love in the small town of Lawton, Alabama. Maggie Carlton has moved from her hometown to live with her aunt, uncle, and cousin in Lawton. Two years before, Maggie witnessed a horrible tragedy she watched her father murder her mother. Since that day, Maggie has disappeared into herself, refusing to speak about anything, especially the circumstances of her mother's death. After she told the police what had happened with her mother, Maggie became silent and hasn't spoken since. On the surface, West Ashby seems to be the opposite of Maggie. He is popular, self-assured, and the crush of every girl in Lawton. He is a star football player, widely known as the big man on campus, who brought the small town of Lawton to the football state championships. However, despite his self-assured appearance and incredible popularity, West is also hiding a dark secret. It is quickly revealed that all-star West is watching his father die slowly from cancer and hasn't told anybody at school about the tragedy. To deal with his sadness and anger over his father's looming death, West uses women for sex and then promptly discards them. Referring to these women as friends with benefits, he is known for his promiscuous behavior and inability to stay with a girl for longer than a few weeks or an evening. Maggie, on the other hand, is not interested in casual hookups. Her recent move to Lawton hasn't drawn her out of her shell, and despite the fact that all the boys in Lawton have their eye on her, she refuses to speak to any of them. One night at a party, Wes decides it is time to talk to someone about his troubles. Seeing Maggie at the party, he realizes that she offers him the perfect opportunity to reveal his secret, while also guaranteeing that the news about his dad won't spread because Maggie is silent. There is no risk of her giving him away. West gets close to Maggie at the party, revealing to her the truth about his father and the reason for his troubling behavior with women. Much to his surprise, Maggie speaks back. She tells him the secret she hasn't told anyone else in Lawton that her mother is dead and her father has been convicted of murder. Drawn to each other by their shared pain and past trauma, West and Maggie soon fall in love. West and Maggie have a whirlwind romance Maggie kisses West the first night she meets him, though she knows he has a history of using women for sex. They are drawn to each other because of their pain, but their pain also leads to unhealthy behavior and an inability to clearly communicate. West, jealous of all the men who want to date Maggie, cannot talk to her without getting angry and envious. West loves Maggie too much to let her go, but Maggie refuses to put up with his atrocious behavior. She stands up for herself, and they temporarily part ways. The split of Maggie and West, though, is brief. They are drawn to each other by their shared trust and ability to speak about their trauma without fear of judgment or rejection. They learn how to love in a healthy way West learns how to talk, and Maggie learns how to stand up for herself against abusive possessive men like her father. The book ends on a high note, with a romance saved. Abby Glines is the author of dozens of contemporary romance novels, many set in her home state of Alabama. She is a New York Times best-selling author, as well as a featured bestseller on USA Today and The Wall Street Journal. Her other series include Rosemary Beach, Sea Breeze, The Vincent Boys, and Existence. I hope you enjoy this video leave a like, if you didn't be sure to subscribe for more lore thank you all so much for your support.